pleasant good morning to you. The breeze is good this morning. I speak to you this morning in terms of source of fun. What is your source of fun? Uh, I went to the bank some years ago uh, with some money that wasn't mine and I had to uh, do a small project with it. And when the girl saw the money, she got a form and asked me to fill out the form. All types of details. Because she said I had to tell her what is the source of this fun. Uh, I felt a bit intimidated to know that a uh, little girl behind a counter got to find out all that thing about where I got money from. As if I'm a thief. But I had to abide by the rules. Uh, now in Genesis chapter 14 and verse 21, uh, it says, The king of Sodom said unto Abraham, Give me the persons and take the goods to thyself. Genesis chapter 14 verse 21. 22 says, And Abraham said to the king of Sodom, I have lift up my hand unto the Lord, the most high God, the possessor of heaven and earth, that I will not take from a trade even to a shoe latchet, and that I will not take anything that is thine, lest thou shouldest say, I have made Abraham rich. Background into the story is that Lot was captured, Abraham's nephew, close relative, and Abraham with about 318 trained servants went together with the king of Sodom and others and they recaptured Lot from enemy territory. And here after the battle and they have returned safely, the king of Sodom wants to give Abraham some of the loot. But Abraham said, no, 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 no. I don't want any. I don't want any. I don't even want a shoelace from you because uh, you may end up saying that what you gave to me has made me rich. Now Abraham was a man of God and God had promised Abraham that he would make him a great nation. And Abraham wanted only funding from God. Yes, yeah, source of fun from God alone. He didn't want even after he would have died and his generation continue. He did not want uh, anybody to say, you see the wealth that Abraham got? It is because the king of Sodom gave to him. Uh, now, please understand, uh, when people give you things, careful if you're taking it or not taking it. Now, I'm not saying don't take things from people, but you must be careful who you're taking gifts from. Uh, because the giver of a gift has the power to control you. Now, further, please understand that taking gifts from individuals has the ability uh, to, the person has the ability to affect your thought process. And by the way, that's why years ago, they used to say to girls, I don't know if they say it nowadays, maybe they should. Uh, they used to say to girls, don't take gifts from people of the opposite sex. That is what they used to say. And I think it's still good advice. I think it's still good advice. Uh, now, talking about gifts, uh, talking about gifts, uh, please understand uh, that God sent his son, Jesus Christ, into this world. You thought of it recently? To give us the greatest gift. Jesus Christ, his son, died on the cross of Calvary so that we can have life and have it more abundantly. Now, listen to what you must think about. If God could have sent his only begotten son as a gift to save you and I from death and damnation and hell's fire, it goes without any argument that we should reciprocate and be willing to live the way God wants us to live because Jesus Christ, uh, in himself emptied heaven and died for us so we need to live for him uh, so as we close remember be careful who you take gifts from 
because they have a way of controlling you and your thought pattern and thought process if you take gifts from individuals and further the greatest gift God has given to us, the wages of sin being death, but the gift of God, eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord, our God and Father. Thanks for sending Jesus Christ to give us hope as a gift to grant us eternal life. Help somebody to understand that if Jesus Christ could have died for him or for her, we need to change up our lives to live for God because he gave us his greatest gift. Bless your people today, I pray, and guide us throughout the day. In Jesus' name I ask, amen and amen. Now today, today we have something nice for you. So please understand, if you text the number that appears on the screen, we have a special book for you today. Just text the number that appears on the screen. May God richly bless you as you go. At last and did my Savior bleed, and did my sovereign die. Could he devote the sacred death for such on such as I? At the cross, at the cross, at the cross.